Hi, I'm PGA Golf Professional Jimmy Hanlon, and this is your Golf Logics feature of the day. I'm with PGA Tour star Graham Delot. Graham, thanks for hey, taking the time. You bet. Uh, nice we've got a device here that's growing quickly on the PGA Tour. Uh, it's something that you guys work with to work on your tempo, making sure you get a full turn. Talk to me a little bit about it. It's the, the swing trainer from Gabe Golf. Yeah, so I mean, I've known Gabe for a long time. He's one of the few guys that I really trust to take a look at anything that I do. Um, you know, I've never been a guy to mess with any kind of training aids or anything like that, but this was just right up my alley. When, what I struggle with when it comes down, uh, when I start hitting poorly is usually time and I get really quick at the top. And I think that's a problem for a lot of people. So this basically just teaches you to just be patient and wait on it at the top and just get a nice set before you start your downswing. So you just take it to the top and you can hear the marbles roll down and as soon as they hit the butt end of the club, I just let it go. So the sound is what you're listening for. You get it to the top, and as soon as you hear that sound, that's when you start your transition. That slows you down a little bit, right? Exactly. And then, uh, you know, we, we work on other things, too. So obviously, you're not going to sit up and wait for it like that on the first tee of the Waste Management Phoenix Open. Right. So we can do another train or another drill. As soon as I hear the ball start rolling, I can let it go. And so that's a little bit more of a realistic timing just to kind of slow it down obviously once i start playing you know you revert back to what you do naturally but it's just i you know i hit 10 15 balls a day just in my warm-up before i you know really start getting into you know practice mode just to kind of get that time and remind myself uh you know to wait for it on up top helps you with your tempo huh exactly and we're here at the waste management open pro-am and so you play in a lot of pro-ams and you see a lot of these guys when they don't make that full turn, they just lift those arms up, that thing's not going to work, is it? Right, and that's the thing. If, if, you, if you're a person who really takes it back too far, the ball bearings are going to stay and they're at not the going to come down. Yep. So, I mean, you look at any PGA Tour player, majority of them anyways, they don't go past parallel, and that allows that, those beads to kind of you know, slip down. And like I think, like I'm from Canada, and I used to bang balls into, into nets and stuff like that throughout the winter. And, I'm obviously, technology is a lot better now. You have uh, track man and that kind of thing. But I mean, I think of a guy like anyone up in the northern states or up in Canada. You know, if they're sitting hitting balls over the winter, it's such a great aid to just get tempo, 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 tempo. And then when you, you know, finally in April when the Masters rolls on and that music comes on, you hear Jim Nance's <laughs> voice and you get back out on the course and you kind of have that ingrained in your head over the winter. I love it. So it helps you with your tempo. It also helps you to make the proper turn in the backswing. So if you don't make the proper turn, it doesn't work. Uh, appreciate, Graham, all yeah, your help absolutely, today. absolutely, Jimmy. If you guys want to check one of these things out, it's GabeGolf.com. Gabe can customize them for you. Uh, it's a great device. If the tour players are using it, you should be using it too. And that's your Golf Logics feature of the day.